Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, a polarizing arch-conservative and one of his country's most prominent and influential people, was shot and killed on Friday while giving a lecture in Western Japan, according to NHK Public Television. Minutes after he began his speech in Nara, Abe, 67, was shot in the back. He was taken by air ambulance to a hospital for immediate care, but he was not breathing and his heart had stopped. Later at the hospital, NHK reported that he had been declared deceased. In Japan, one of the world's safest countries with some of the strictest gun control rules, police detained the alleged shooter at the scene of an attack that stunned many people. After the incident, which he referred to as dastardly and savage, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and his cabinet colleagues swiftly arrived back in Tokyo after political events held around the nation. Prior to his resignation in 2020, Abe had been the head of Japan for the longest time. In a gripping video, NHK aired Abe giving a speech in front of a train station in the western city of Nara. Two gunshots can be heard as the man raises his hand while standing and wearing a navy blue suit. Security personnel can then be seen rushing toward Abe as he lies motionless on the sidewalk in the video. He holds his bloodied shirt on his chest. A man in a gray shirt is lying face down on the pavement as security personnel suddenly leap on top of him. On the ground is what appears to be a handcrafted double-barreled gun. Tetsuya Yamagami, 41, was detained on suspicion of attempted murder, according to the Nara Prefectural Police. The suspect, according to NHK, spent three years in the Maritime Self-Defense Force in the 2000s. Officials from the campaign were around Abe and other footage taken at the spot. In the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, where he led Saiwaka, the former leader retained a significant amount of influence. Sunday marks the election day for the lower house of Japan's parliament. I use the harshest words to condemn Kishida said, trying to keep his emotions in check, the government planned to assess the security situation, but stressed that Abe had the highest protection, the act, many people stopped on the streets in Tokyo to pick up extra newspapers or watch TV coverage of the shooting, and opposition leaders denounced the attack as a challenge to Japan's democracy. Abe claimed he suffered an outbreak of the ulcerative colitis he had had since he was a teenager when he announced his resignation as Prime Minister. At the time, he admitted to journalists that abandoning many of his objectives was gut-wrenching. He discussed his failure to handle issues with Japanese who had been kidnapped by North Korea in the past, a territorial conflict with Russia, and a change to Japan's constitution that forbade war. Because of his pursuit of that final goal, he was immensely divisive. His zealous nationalism incensed China and Korea, and his attempts to establish what he saw as a more traditional defense posture incensed many Japanese. Abe was unable to formally amend the country's fundamental text, the pacifist constitution, because to a lack of popular support. His legacy, according to his adherents, was to strengthen the alliance between the United States and Japan in order to increase the country's defense capabilities. Although there was much popular opposition, Abe alienated people by attempting to push through the legislature his defense priorities as well as other controversial matters. The grandson of former Prime Minister Inoba Tsukishi, Abe was a political dynamo who was being prepared to carry on his grandfather's legacy. In his political speeches, he frequently emphasized the need to transform Japan into a normal and beautiful country with a more powerful military and expanded position in world affairs. In astonishment following the shooting, many foreign authorities expressed themselves. To build a stronger Japan-US relationship, Abe expressed pride. Making the first trip to Hiroshima, the city that was atomically bombed, by a sitting American president. In addition, by promising that the Fukushima nuclear plant tragedy was under control, when it was not, he assisted Tokyo in winning the right to host the 2020 Olympics.